nasty. So crunchy. A little chewy. Tastes ugly. It's soggy. Makunat. Bakit nakunat? <coughs> Excuse me. See, I even joke. You want to eat? Come on, enjoy it and have fun. I love cooking. It's part of my life. So every day I cook for my family. I think good lumpia, first off, should taste like authentic Filipino. It should be bite-sized and at the same time, it should be crispy and golden brown. If you are not seeing those three things, then it's not lumpiang Shanghai. <laughs> Everyone has different tastes. So make it in neutral. They can add more you know, ingredients if they want. They want it salty, spicy, or sweet. All right, I'm hungry. Let's do this. Okay, it looks good. Now I'm ready to dig in. Maybe you can dip it in the sauce. It much better. Here you go. Taste it. Mmm. It's good. Crunchy. It's looking a little pale from my taste. It looks like it's been wrapped perfect. Someone's got skills. Mmm. I don't know. It's soggy. A little chewy. Nakunat. Bakit nakunat? Where's the umami? Where's the salt? I don't know, maybe I just like it a little salty. I'm salty. This bear salt is good because it's not salty and it's not spicy. And you can dip it in a sauce if you want it much better, or you want it saltier, or you want it spicy. The lumpia is not burned. It's really cooked, and the wrap is cooked well. I got hungry already with the question. I've only had one bite, and it's already very filling. It's more like a meal, more than an appetizer. Out of 10, I would give this maybe a six. I gave a nine. All right, I got the last part. Mmm, crunchy and I enjoy it. I think I'm ready for the next lumpia. Dip it in there, oh wow. And then, mmm, so crunchy and dry. <laughs> Nasty! <laughs> it's all wrapper. I think when she rolled the lumpia, it's not really secured on both ends. It's so greasy and dry at the same time. It tastes ugly. And some edges are not secured. There are parts like the other side is burnt, the other side is not, which means it wasn't really flipped. Make sure next time it should be filled up to the end. Sometimes it's uh, too much crunchy that it will uh, break it easily. They break it apart and then you cannot really taste because it's go all over your blouse. <coughs> Excuse me. See, I even choke because of too much crunchy. The other one is neutral. But this one is already salty. I cannot add more. Uh, maybe he's in a hurry. <laughs> he put a lot of salt. <laughs> Mine is way better, for sure. I'll give it a four. Oh, I just rate it as a five. Okay, let's try the next one. Wow, these are huge. You know, just by looking at it, I'm already full. For me, it looks more like a toron than Lumpiang Shanghai because Lumpiang Shanghai is served as a cocktail or an appetizer or an hors d'oeuvre and not a viand or an ulam. So it should be smaller. Hmm. There's a little bit of a crisp. That's good. Uh. <laughs> oh. All meat and dry. There's a lot of filling, which is good, but not a lot of flavor. It also made it big. I would rather cut it in half. I don't see much ingredients. I didn't taste it. Should be balanced. Shouldn't really just be the meat. If you really have a good lumpia, you don't really need the sauce. And even if I dip it here, it's still ugly. The sauce will just cover up the ugliness of this. We'll try it with the dressing now. I like it better because the sauce gives it the flavor. Maybe that's why she made it like more plain. Would you try this at a Filipino party if it was served to you? I'm just gonna bring my own. <laughs> Would I serve this to my kids? Probably not, because it's too big. The sauce is good. The lumpia itself, mm, maybe a five, but together they can be a six. But I'm gonna give it a three for the effort. <laughs> I won! <won't. laughs> so I put it in the cooler so it doesn't get soggy. Mmm! This is the best lumpia and it's my lumpia. 